Hey guys, welcome back to Haiku Shaves. I have not shaved in five days and that is uh, more or less out of uh, laziness maybe. Um, I have been working on a big DIY project in front of my house. I'm building a carport that also serves as a deck with a railing around it and all that stuff. The carport is really large. It's a surface area of about 780 square feet or 72 square meters. And um, I'm more or less the guy building it. Uh, it's a steel structure, so I had a little bit of help of, uh, of a steel contractor. I will put on some pictures here on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. And so I have been working out in the sun every single day and uh, while I'm working on my construction site, I don't need to be pretty, right? But now we have an actually really good experiment here. Five days of growth with my Rex console, which I, uh, a door. This razor is really beautiful and it shaves really well. It's a slant razor adjustable and we're going to use a feather stainless. This one here, the double edge, the high stainless as they call it. So let's take a new one out of the box here. And we're going to use, because it's really hot outside, I've been in the sun all day long. Awesome sauce. Uh, it's a mentholated, made by PAA. I love it. it it's uh, very reminiscent of Parasso Green, which is my absolute favorite. This is really great. And since this is kind of a special day for me today, I uh, accomplished a lot outside. I, I made a good push in this construction of this carport slash deck. And I have had this uh, Simpson brush, Simpsons brush sitting here for a while and I haven't even used it yet. It's an M7 with the Sovereign fiber, which is a synthetic knot. As you can see, it's a relatively short loft that makes the, the brush a little stiffer, which I like. So it has a good backbone, but it's very soft to the touch. And we're gonna use this for the very first time with uh, Awesome Sauce and Awesome Sauce aftershave. Uh, we might sprinkle in a little bit of some Thayer's uh, the Witch Hazel. And uh, yeah, and my one of my favorite razors and a razor blade. Let's let's load this whole thing here. So you take the bottom loose. It's a two piece. Put this on your hand. Maybe you should have unwrapped. Well, I should have unwrapped the razor blade. I should have unwrapped the razor blade here out of the package uh, to make it a little easier. And then you just drop that on here. And Put the bottom end on top and make sure it's all lining up. Apparently I'm a little clumsy today. Wouldn't be surprised. Just don't cut yourself. My goodness gracious. All right. <laughs> so you put your blade on there and it's supposed to be lined up by those uh, alignment tabs, but uh, it's not lining up or it doesn't want to line up. And it's okay. I don't like this method because the blade needs to be curved in there to actually touch those alignment tabs. What I have done in the past, and lots of people have commented that that's wrong and I shouldn't be doing this, I just dip my blade in water, stick it on there, line it up by eye, and then I can stick the top on it, and then suddenly it all fits together. And I'm not struggling anymore. All right, so. We set it to, let's say, setting number three. That's where we're gonna start because I have a lot of growth and this needs to come off. And then we're gonna scoop a little bit of um, soap here out of, the, out of the container. Way too much, perfect. And then I scrape that off of my spoon and stick it to the bottom of my timeless shave bowl here. And I have it on my fingers and it's a mess. I made a mess out of it. But it's okay. And uh, just learned another trick from a commenter uh, that led me to another video of uh, a barber that apparently works for Mühle. And uh, the guy was pretty, pretty skilled with his uh, double-edged razor. And um, yeah, let's, let's add a little bit more menthol in form of Parasso Green pre-shave, which I absolutely like especially when I have so much growth in my face and it needs to come off. There you go. I just took a shower so the stubble shouldn't be too, too hard. So light, lightly softened already. Soap in here. 
The brush, we don't need to pre-soak. We just dip them in water and go right into the bowl. And as I mentioned, um, the Simpson synthetic knots, they're very nicely, tightly packed with very fine um, bristles. And they have a little bit backbone to it, so you can really work it hard without bending those uh, bristles and, and deforming them. And, uh, and then this shape ball here has those rips at the bottom that help you also with the lathering process. Also large enough and the handle is nice and long. It's very similar to my cheapo here. The DS Cosmetic brush, the handle, you know, there are only so many designs that can go around, right? And I think Simpson is probably one of the OGs, the original, and everyone else has just been copying their designs. Um, there's, I mean, of course, people make uh, uh, shape brush handles out of deer antlers or out of wood or out of, you know, rocks they find on the beach. All kinds of different methods, but uh, the you know the traditional shave brush that you can buy in stores from retailers, they're all kind of similar in design. And uh, Simpsons has been around for a very long time. They still make all their brushes by hand in England. Um, I guess a lot of shaving gear originated over there, or at least they, the the British gentlemen, they wanted a clean shave earlier than other people. Look at that. All right, here you go. Awesome sauce, PAA. If you have not tried it yet, give it a whirl. Buy yourself a sample. It's mentholated, so if you don't like this light, cooling, but sometimes even burning sensation of menthol, then uh, maybe alternatively you can try Parasso Green, which is absolutely one of my favorites. I keep adding water. You, you don't want it too dry, you want to lather well hydrated, as they say, as the pros call it. Look at how much stubble is there, it's crazy. My sink is gonna be so full. So the reason why I picked a feather blade is I want the sharpest possible blade and feathers, feather blades are known to be super sharp right out of the package so I don't get any kind of uh, tugging sensation. And uh, we take the stubbles off in one go. All right, here we go. Let's check the alignment one last time. Looks good. Nicely twisted in place. We're tightened up and we're at a three. And here we go. With the grain. Oh yeah, this is like butter. This blade and setting three it just goes through there like nobody's business. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes when I have a little bit more growth in my face and I uh, reach for the wrong blade, I uh, immediately regret that because then the blade is too tuggy. In other words, um, too dull to really take everything off. So completely forgot to talk about the M7 Simpson, which I've been looking forward to using. Um, this is a very lovely brush. The handle is nice. So are many, many other brushes, but the, the uh, real magic sauce of those Simpson synthetics is um, they are just a little bit more rigid or, or have more backbone than other cheaper $10 brushes. This one was about a $70 investment. Simpsons, uh, they make a lot of special editions and for the coronation of um, King Charles, for example, uh, they made a special edition of this M7, but I can't buy it anywhere here in the States, so I couldn't buy myself one of those. But uh, the brushes are just second to none when it comes to the knot. You can spend two, three hundred dollars on a shave brush from Simpsons if you go with a fancy badger. And I bet you the badger brushes that you get from Simpsons, they don't have any stink to it. They probably treat them and bleach them and clean them. And
Yeah, the feather blade really takes care of business here. Takes it off. I just got in touch with um, Matt Pusarsik from uh, Reza Emporium. You know, the REC supply company is uh, a subsidiary or sister company to Reza Emporium. Um, and Matt Pisarsik is pretty much the manufacturer of uh, all those razors and they have a slant razor that's not adjustable, the Sentry, and I would really like to try one out because I really like slant razors. And I would really like to have one just to be able to compare it to, you know, the Timeless Slant and this one Slant and the Yachi adjustable Slant and the Razor Rock and all those other ones. And I really want to get one for the cast here so I have one to compare stuff to. So this other YouTuber, uh, not other YouTuber, the Müller Shave Channel that uh, was brought to the uh, what was brought to my attention by a viewer, uh, the guy showed me this trick where you you just put the razor under your nose and then you kind of rock it to get the the hair or the stubbles up there out of the way. I'm gonna go to a setting one. I don't want to cut myself under the nose when I'm doing this for the very first time. Ah, that works really well. I need a little bit more practice for this rounding. Very good. That's a good trick. Um, you know who you are. Thanks for the, the comment. I always like to learn and I I think I cut myself a little bit. But anyways, let's grab our brush here, the beautiful Simpson, Simpsons, Simpson, I don't know. On the box it says Simpsons, and on the brush it says Simpson. So I have no idea. Um, and it's not a, a possessive S at the end. So I'm not sure why on the box it says Simpsons, and here it says Simpson. Someone explain if you know? Is that a historical thing? All right. We have more lather to go here. Oh, very nice. And the awesome sauce mentholation is just the right amount in the, in the summer, hot summer day, and you really want to feel cold in your face. Awesome sauce is perfect for that. Look at that. Mm. Very creamy, lots of slickness, lots of cushion, easy to lather. Totally uh, compatible with my skin, at least. Zip! Didn't do that earlier, but here. Yeah. Geo Fat Boys is perfect with that, where he always cleans the runways and all that. Really good shaving videos. All right, um, we're gonna go to a setting, let's do two and a half for the second pass across the grain. Very nice, a little bleeding down there. Not very bad. And the other side. Very good. Very good. This razor is really good. It's adjustable down to a very comfortable level. 
you know, if two and a half or two is too harsh still, just go down to a one. And uh, you can really get a nice result out of this. Huh. I've always done the across the grain, like this, under my nose. But then there's always the risk because you're not, well, I'm not going exactly with my growth direction of the stopples that I will create some irritation with this rocking motion. I get it just as clean with less irritation and that's perfect. All right, let's do a quick little inspection if we actually need a third pass. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's do a little pickup pass, so not a full third pass. My upper lip definitely doesn't need any more cleaning, but down on my neck here in this area, I could use a little bit more cleanup and right there as well. Ah, I really enjoy this brush. I am really glad I finally pulled the trigger and bought it, even though those brushes are not cheap. I mean, $70 at the lower end. I think my Trafalgar T1 was 30 bucks, 35 bucks, um, but yeah. They are not cheap, but they are really good. And um, I have seen videos on their manufacturer's webpage uh, where you see like little clips how they actually put those together. The knots are, uh, they are hand stacked to make sure they are all the same length. And then they get wrapped with a cord at the bottom, tighten them together and uh, not just glue. So most knots, cheap knots that you get uh, on AliExpress or Amazon or whatever, they're all just epoxy together at the bottom. But the Simpson ones, uh, they all have a little uh, string at the bottom and they're tightened together. And like I said, they're hand stacked, not machine stacked. So uh, really nice. Very good. All right, let's do a little bit against the grain down here. And as you can see, I do a little skin stretching. Very little pressure and we have a perfect result. So this was very enjoyable. The razor is lovely, the brush was lovely. The feather blade really complemented the razor by being so sharp that it was absolutely no problem going through this forest of five days. Um, still have a little bit of a owie left there. It's not healing up as fast as I wanted to. That's one of the reasons why I didn't shave so much. Little sideburn correction here after the fact. Very good. All right, let's rinse off. All righty guys, there we go. Five days of growth taken off like nothing with a Rex console and a feather blade and very lovely products and uh, my new favorite brush yeah let me rinse off a little bit of the lather that's still on it and hold it in front of the camera one more time sorry for the water noise here so my my biggest gripe with the Trafalgar the T1 was that the handle is so short and that you constantly get the lather all over your fingers uh, the diameter of the knot is a little larger. I think this is a 24 millimeter if I'm not completely mistaken And this is kind of in the 22 millimeter range, but uh, very nice They have both very good backbone and they lend themselves very well to a good lathering re result in your bowl or even on your face and uh, still very soft to the touch and I will get years of use. I mean this is gonna be uh, my new travel brush I guess will go into my uh, toiletry bag and stay there and this is the one that I will now use for shaving here in front of camera. Alright, results perfect. I have one little nick down there 
um, we can use a little bit of the Purasso gel reparatore, so repair gel from Purasso, which is pretty much a aluminum product, just like your um, your styptic pencil or your alum block. Yeah, if it would come out, oh, it has this dried up. I haven't used this in so long that the whole tube has dried up in there now. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I, I don't really use aluminum products all that much. You know, there's quite a bit of controversial information out there on uh, whether or not aluminum is good for you or not, or if it, you know, entering your bloodstream, if that's good or not. So, you know, my personal opinion is I use it only as often as I really have to. So now I'm using my alum block just down there to suck the little bleeder together. Um, I don't even know, this was a cheapo from somewhere. Uh, I don't use it very often, that's why it's sitting here. And yeah, unfortunately the repar reparatore gel from Paraso is completely dried up in there. It's not coming out of the tube anymore. So if you don't use those products, I guess it's really not worth buying. Uh, but yeah, we fixed that and now we're going to throw on some, let's do Thayer's first. I explained that before. I use uh, witch hazel water with aloe just to calm down the skin after a shave. And then I let that dry off a little bit. And once that has dried off a little bit, then I reach for my aftershave more or less kind of like for the scent, but not for the, you know, the, the skin toning effect. A little bit of burning sensation, just a little bit. I mean, we had a pretty sharp blade and if there's any little bit of skin in the way, it just takes it right off. That's why the German, the German name for safety razor is actually pretty a good description. They call it a Rasierhobel, which is a shaving plane. So like a planer for wood. Um, it's to make wood smooth or uh, w take material off, right? So you're planing your skin, a, a skin planer kind of, you know, so you're making your skin smoother by cutting off what's in the way. All right, that was it. Simpsons and awesome sauce and the Rex console. So Matt Pesarsic, if you see this video and you want to send over a sentry, I would really appreciate that and it would definitely get some screen time here uh, with Heiko Shaves. Alrighty guys, that is it. We're cleaned up and I'm ready for the world now. And uh, skin is really happy. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions, comment down below. I will put in a couple links for you guys where you can find those products. Also put a link in for Razor Emporium uh, to, to find this beautiful razor here. Again, it was a pleasure and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. See you in the next one. Take care, bye.